Today's video is about building trusses for the mill shed. We will be building them out of two by fours and two by sixes that we sawed on the sawmill about a month ago. The lumber has been air stacked and drying and is now about 10% moisture content, which is just right. Here I'm cutting rafters and ceiling joists. I'm cutting the rafters at a 312 pitch at both the ridge and at the drip edge. There is a lot of measuring and cutting angles involved in building trusses. However, I tried not to make the video boring by showing a lot of it. Here you can see the splice in the ceiling joist. The ceiling joist is comprised of two 16 foot two by fours overlapped here in the center, making a five foot overlap which has been glued with F26 and screwed with three and a half inch screws. After I came up with a truss design that suited me, I built the first truss as accurately as possible, pulling strings along the boards to ensure that they were all straight. I then used it as a pattern, laying all the rest on top of it. I screwed them to the pattern and adjusted them where necessary. These trusses will carry a five foot span of the building so they're built a little heavier than normal. I cut these plates out of some 22 gauge galvanized sheet metal and am fastening them with some one inch long truss screws. There are nine trusses in the building 11 connections on each truss, two sides to each of those, makes 198 connecting plates, an average of nine screws per plate is 1,800 screws. After Installing all of the plates on one side, I remove all the screws holding the ceiling joists and rafters to the pattern and flip the new truss. Here we're going to add another 11 plates and 100 screws to complete the truss. Building trusses is very repetitive. More cutting boards, more putting in screws. Oh, did I mention more screws? After completing each truss, I move them with the tractor to begin another one. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. 